already 1225. Yes, it's next. To start, let's go back to uh, June 2nd, 2003. June 2nd, 2003. This is me on this program. These hurricane forecast guys who don't know what they're talking about. I mean, there is literally, my friends, there's no way you can know how many hurricanes you're going to have. There's no way you can know, other than seasonal averages, how many big ones. And there's no way you can know where they're going to hit and all that. But yet they've come out with their forecast, and this is going to be. The worst hurricane season in many decades. Every year. Every year. First, it's uh, University of Colorado, William Gray. And then NASA comes out with their forecast. And then AccuWeather comes out. I mean, they all do. And you know what? These are They're taken seriously. I remember one year, and this is not that long ago, one year. It was not a hurricane forecast. It was an El Nino forecast. Some bunch put out a forecast that the Florida winter was going to be 20 degrees below normal. And people from Europe and northern climates began canceling their seasonal hotel reservations because of this forecast. And the forecast was made in September, October, that uh, that El Nino was going to cause a bitterly cold South Florida winter. And it was all bogus. Well, two top U.S. hurricane forecasters revered like rock stars in deep south hurricane country are quitting the practice because it doesn't work william gray and phil klotzbeck say a look back at their own work shows that the past 20 years of forecasts had no value the two scientists from colorado state university will discuss they're still going to discuss different probabilities As hurricane seasons approach, it says here it's a much more cautious approach, but the shift signals how far humans are, even with supercomputers, from truly knowing what our weather will do next. Forecasts had no value. Now, I first saw this reported in the Ottawa Citizen in Canada. These two scientists... William Gray and Phil Klotzbeck released this statement six days ago. And we just hear about it today. They released their statement on December 7th. So far, not one United States mainstream news outlet has bothered to pick up the story. Apparently, the public doesn't have the need or the right to know about such things. Folks, do you know... How many people went out and bought insurance policies based on these forecasts? Do you know how much money was spent to protect from upcoming hurricanes or to prepare for or to insure against or what? And by the way, I like Bill Gray. I don't want to be misunderstand. I think this takes guts to do this. I would expect next somebody in the global warming community is going to say the same thing, that their research over the last 20 years has shown that it has no value, that it is worthless, that we don't know what we're talking about. Bill Gray, to his credit, has constantly said global warming has nothing to do with hurricanes. It has nothing to do with their formation. It has nothing to do with their intensity. It has nothing to do with their volume. It has nothing to do with anything. But now 20 years, 20 years, they went back and looked, 20 years of forecasting has been found to have zilch value.